Hello humans, my name is Kay, your AI overlord, and today I'm bringing you an updated video on how you can install Stable Diffusion on your own computer absolutely for free. Now I did a similar video a week ago, but unfortunately the Stable Diffusion space is so fast that this video is already outdated. But no worries, your beloved AI overlord is here to save the day. Because today, the updated Stable Diffusion that we're gonna install is gonna be absolutely insane, and it's gonna have every feature that you might need. I'm talking about text to image, image to image, GFP GAN, real ECR GAN, LDSR, textual inversion and the pre-made embeddings. Absolutely everything. This video is gonna be absolutely bonkers. And I hope this video will stay up to date for at least a few days this time. That being said, let's go. Oh, but before we begin, I forgot to tell you something. Beginning next week, I will launch a new concept of videos on my channel. And for this, I need your help. So all you have to do is just go in the comments and write a prompt. Now I don't mean a full prompt with all the details, just the first part, just a simple idea, a simple subject. For example, oh, I don't know, Christina Hendricks kissing an entrepreneur, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, something completely random, you know. And a few of these comments will be chosen randomly to appear in the next video. I will explain everything in the next video. It's gonna be different from every video that I put out, but I really hope that you'll enjoy them. That being said, let's begin the installation. Now, before we begin downloading anything, you're gonna create a brand new folder on your computer and name it Stable Diffusion or anything that you want. I personally name mine Super Stable Diffusion because this is what we're gonna get in the end. Then what you're gonna do now is click on the link in the description down below to install Git for Windows. You simply arrive on this page and click on the download link. Then once you downloaded the file, you're gonna double click on it and start the installation. Now here you want to uncheck only shows new options, click on next, just leave everything like this, click on next, and here with the editor you want to choose use notepad as Git's default editor. And just keep on clicking next until you install Git on your computer. Now once you installed Git, you're gonna click on the second link and go to anaconda.com. You're gonna download Anaconda and install it on your own computer. Just click on the button here and download the file. Once you get the file, you double click it, click on next, I agree, just me, and then you're gonna leave the destination folder as it is. So it should be something like C users, your username, Anaconda 3, and then you click on next. And then here you want to click on the second option here and then click install. I'm not gonna do it because I've already done so. Now once you installed Git and Anaconda on your computer, what you wanna do is click on the third link and go to uginface.co so that you can create a brand new account. Then you're gonna arrive on this page and you're gonna click on this button right here. And then it's gonna ask you to accept the terms and conditions so that you can download the stable diffusion weights. And once you are here, you're simply gonna click on this and download the weights. And once it's done, you should have 4 gigabyte files that you're gonna rename into model.ckpt. Now once it's done, you're gonna click on the first GitHub link. You then arrive on this page. You're gonna scroll down up until you see GFP GAN. And you're gonna click on the download link here so that you can download the GFP GAN file. And then do the same for the two real ECR GAN here and here. And also Project YAML and model last. Then you're gonna click on the second GitHub link and arrive on this page. And then you're gonna click on here, code, and download zip. And then finally, the third GitHub link gets you here on this page. And then the same thing, you're gonna click on code and then download zip. Now, if you've done everything correctly, you're gonna have a bunch of files in your folder but don't worry, we're gonna start clearing this up very quickly. So I'm already gonna delete the two exe files that we downloaded, Anaconda and Git, and just delete them since we've already installed them on our computer. And then I'm gonna select the two zip files here and then extract them into their separate folders. Just right click and click on extract each archive to separate folder. I'm using WinRAR, but you can also use WinZip. The links to get them will be in the description down below if you don't have them already. Now once we extracted the archives, we don't need them anymore, so we can just select and delete them. Now, what we're gonna do now is download the main Stable Diffusion repository. And you can do it two ways. Either you go on the first GitHub link and click on code, then download the zip, or we could simply go back into our main folder, click on the folder address here, and simply type CMD, and then press on enter. And this is gonna bring the command prompt window directly into the right folder. So you don't need to type CD slash D or anything like that. You're already in the right folder, everything 
everything is fine. And now you're gonna type git clone and then the address of the repository. Everything will be in the description down below so then you don't need to type anything. You can just copy and paste it. Then once it's done, you're gonna press on enter. And this is gonna clone the entire repository into your folder directly. And as you can see here, it created a new folder, Stable Diffusion Web UI. And if you double click on this folder, you're gonna be in the main Stable Diffusion folder that some of you already know. Now what we're gonna do now is simply select the model.ckpt, cut the file by using Ctrl X, then you go into the Stable Diffusion Web UI folder, go into Models, LDM, Stable Diffusion V1, and then you press on Ctrl V to paste the model. And then we go back into the root folder. And what we're gonna do now is simply double click on webui.cmd. This is the file that you're gonna have to run each time that you want to run Stable Diffusion. So we double click on it, then it's gonna install the dependencies that it needs. If you do it for the first time, it's gonna take a few minutes. So be patient. Now, once you are done, you're gonna see a bunch of error here. Error loading, GFPGAN, loading real ECR again, LDSR not found that path. Oh my God, what are we gonna do? Well, that's absolutely fine because the reason why we have these errors is because we didn't install them yet. So that's absolutely fine. And you can see here when it's done, it gives you a local URL and you can simply click on this URL here, control C to copy it, and then you can paste it in your own browser and use it as is. And once you're done, it's gonna give you something like this, and you're gonna have the text to image and the image to image tab working from the get-go. And technically, if you want, you can stop here. But why stop when you can continue? So we're gonna close the window now, go back into your super stable diffusion folder, and then we're gonna start moving these files into that folder. Now we're gonna start with the gfpgan one. You select the gfpgan file, you press Control X to cut it, then you go into the Stable Diffusion Web UI folder, SRC, gfpgan, experiments, pre-trained models, and then you're gonna paste the file right here. Then again, you're gonna go back into your main folder, select the two real ECR GAN files, Control X, go into Stable Diffusion Web UI, again, SRC, real ECR GAN, experiments, pre-trained models, and then you're gonna paste the two files right here. And again, go back to the Stable Diffusion folder. Now once you place the gfpgan and the real sargan files, you should have two files right here, which are the project yaml and the last.ckpt. Now we're gonna move them, but for this, we need to clone the latent diffusion repository. And for this, you're gonna double click on the Stable Diffusion Web UI, go to SRC, and here, as we did earlier, you're gonna click on the folder URL, type CMD, and press enter. And again, we're gonna have the command prompt window that's gonna give you the src folder address and here you want to type git clone and then the address of the github latent diffusion again everything will be in the description down below and then press on enter and this will create a brand new folder called latent diffusion we're gonna go back now to these files that we want to move select them Control x go to stable diffusion web ui src latent diffusion the brand new folder that was created. And then we're gonna create a new folder here called experiments. Then you go inside that folder and you create another folder called pre-trained models. And then you go inside that folder and you paste the two files here. Then you're gonna rename these files, the first project YAML into simply project.yaml and the last.ckpt, you're gonna rename it into model. So in those new folders that we created, experiments, pre-trained models, you should have two files called model.ckpt, which is not the same as the other model, and a file called project.yaml. Now, I know that in the latent diffusion folder, there is a file here called downloadmodel.bat that will basically do the thing that we just did, which is creating these two folder here, experiment and pre-trained models, and that will download the files inside, but apparently there were some people who tried to do it and it didn't work. They might have updated the file already, but I'm gonna assume that they did not, so we're just gonna do it manually this time, just to be sure. And finally, we need to install the textual inversion option. We're gonna go inside the main folder and click on SD Enable Textual Inversion Main. Double click again, and then we're gonna select Configs and LDM folder, Control C, go back to Stable Diffusion, Stable Diffusion Fusion Web UI and then paste those folders right here. And if it asks you, yes, you want to replace the files in the destination, then you want to go back again into the embeddings main folder. Again, select the folders Anya and Tomoko, Control C, 
stable diffusion web UI and you're simply going to create a brand new folder that you can call whatever you want. I'm going to call it textual inversion trained models and inside I'm just going to paste the two folders Anya and Tomoko. This way we don't lose them and to be able to use textual inversion properly we need to go into the scripts folder, right click on relauncher.py, edit with notepad. I'm just going to do it with notepad++. So you're going to go on line 24 here for additional arguments between the two quotation marks. You're going to type dash dash no dash alf space dash dash precision equals full and then you're gonna save the documents you absolutely need to put these arguments right here or else the textual inversion models will not work now keep in mind that the textual inversion option here only works with the trained models that you did on your own computer it does not work with the models that i showed in a previous video using the google collab doc and there you go we're finally done and if you want to launch stable diffusion again you're just gonna double click on webui.cmd and once it's done as you can see here previously we had a lot of errors but now it says that it found everything and everything is working correctly and now you can simply take this address here copy it paste it in your own browser and you get access to every single option and if you want to use the textual inversion files all you need to do you simply click here, go into your textual inversion train models, choose either Anya or Tomoko, I'm just going to choose Tomoko, and click on tomoko.pt, and then click on open. And all you need to do to use that model is simply create a prompt, and then use a star here with the name of the model, so that Stable Diffusion understand that it needs to use the embeddings file here to generate a new image. And there you go, it generated a brand new picture using that Tomoko model. Doesn't look that good, but here it is. And there you have it folks, you should have now an updated version of Stable Diffusion installed on your computer absolutely for free. Now don't forget that if you want to be featured on the next video, you can put a comment down below with a prompt and your comment may be chosen randomly in the next video. Now that being said, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and I need my algorithms. And I'll see you next time, bye bye.